Pinocchio, you obviously cannot bleed. Um, I think at this point you become very afraid because there's a bunch of rotting wood on this pile. And you can see the bugs already starting to move towards you. First things first, yeah. Pinocchio. Oh, Pinocchio. Four. Are you at two fails? Oh, yeah, two fails. Yeah, two fails. Pinocchio. Two fails. Rocker. <laughs> Oh my god, that's another three. He's dead. Pinocchio. Pinocchio. My sweet boy. Oh my god. No. <laughs> Life given to a very special little wooden boy by a fairy long time ago. The light movement of magic leaves as your wooden grip on your own nose <laughs> fades. Pinocchio, in these last moments, what do you see in your mind's eye? I think I see the... Amanti the village on the horizon, me, and my father, in the back of the tuna, as we ride home after escaping the terrible dogfish. And just that moment of promise and hope. And the idea that when we got back to shore, everything would be okay. You can feel spiders, termites. You hear a voice. My little Pinocchio. She has lied to you. And the light goes out. I'm gonna ask for one final charisma saving throw, which you can elect to fail if you so wish. Oh. Fail it? Hold on to that. Okay. I am going to make a ruling here with these enemies abounding. They do not see any threats and they're going to wander to search for threats, but also we are not going to allow sort of a stabilization. So in other words, if any of you stabilize, they will eventually end your life. So we're you're needing a nat 20 on one of these saves. Pid, that's you. Come on, it's gonna be. I think that's, is that the crit? It's got art on it. Is that a little cat? It's the cat's butt, that's a nat one. Damn it! Oh. Fuck! That means Pib's full death. Yeah. Really? Because I got, that's two deaths. God damn. <sighs> this is so fucked up. Fuck me. In Pib's final moments, what does he see? Oh, I think Pib, in his last moments, would see the ogre's castle that they had taken over with the miller's son sitting on the throne and be perched, looking out the window, just lying in a sunbeam looking at the sun, kind of hit him in the face. And just looking at that light, kind of blind him. Light coming in through the window. Castle, the king and queen. It's on fire. And you're gone. <sighs> Rosamond. Dude. 
many times can you do this? <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be a limit, right? <laughs> This is going to end with, like, this has been a very special episode of the Ancient Twin. Thank you so much for Just watching. That's our season. Rosman, in your final moments, what do you see? Um, I see... Um, people coming uh, to put a veil over my head. And I walk towards my parents and towards the door of the chapel or my true love is waiting for me. You open the door. You look. At the end of the chapel. Two beautiful faces turn to look at you. Two princesses. And you are gone. How long am I going to drag out this death process? Red. <laughs> Not long. That's a die. That's a failure. <laughs> Was that it? Are you dead? Oh, Jesus. What do you think? What does it look like? <laughs> he did the thing again, which he can do unlimited, I guess. No, only six. Uh. Red, what do you see in your final moments? I think that I, I let a soft image of my grandma putting the finishing touches on a sort of a doily doll, which is a little something that you crochet to put over toilet paper for modesty. Um, and it's a happy memory. But then in that memory, she starts to transform into a wolf. And so it's sort of like it's still incredibly restless. And I just kind of get dragged down to hell by this wolf. As the wolf is dragging you to hell, you suddenly hear a voice. Hot. Too hot to live. Turn around, face me again. Who am I to disrespect an authority figure? I turn and face him. A wolf larger than the world is falling away from you towards an endless boiling sea. Wind rushing through the wolf's coat. Will you remember? Will you remember? Can I reach my hand out to grab him? Give me a Christmas saving throw. 14 minus one is a 13. You reach your hand. Will you remember? Will you remember? Can I reach my hand out to grab him? Give me a Christmas saving throw. 14 minus one is a 13. You reach your hand out. Your fingers pass through fur. It's all right. All of our times come, but there are things trying to stop the turning of the pages. Wicked, wrong, and selfish creatures trying to drive a knife through the heart of the book. Do you know the four most important words, Little Red Riding Hood? Once upon a time. Woo! I knew it was you. And he blows you and you are not falling with him. He continues to fall, but you see, it's not a sea he's falling into. It's a giant cauldron. It's a stew pot. And you are blown up out of a brick chimney as a voice deep down below goes, <coughs> go 
fortune. No. And that is your last thought before you die. Right, what are your last moments? I think as Gerard stabilizes just long enough to be crushed by one of these animated pieces of furniture, glass sticking out of his chest after he's done the first heroic thing he's ever done in his life, he's just crying and going, we never should have, we never should have gotten involved in this melody. This is no place for a prince and a princess. You look up. Melody is in front of you. You're hunched. Your back is lower. You can't even stand up straight anymore. Bow-legged. Feet splitting through your boots. not too late for you. She throws a golden ball. And for the first time, as you look at it, suddenly you experience drowning and you are gone. My goose. Uh, I think Timothy is thinking about the last fight that he had with his husband. Because uh, his son already died, so his husband was like, don't get involved, like get rid of the book or give it away. And he was saying, like he really believes that if we can keep track of when things were good, as everyone in the world keeps deteriorating, they can look at that and that preserving that is extremely important. And then, yeah, he left. And I think Mother Goose can, like, really believe that just hoping enough and having enough heart would be enough. Um, and I think he kind of still believes that. Hope and heart. <laughs> You take it off, big man. I will, but I'm dead. Hope. I got my third wish right here. <laughs> <laughs> As you say, I got my third wish right here, the gander looks at you and goes, granted. <laughs> and bites your finger off your hand, and you are gone. Ah! Um, 